Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, quite a while ago, we did a little video with some little hover effects for the menu. We had a little question from somebody who says, can you apply this to regular links on your site? Well, you can't actually apply that code. You have to modify it, but I've got a little paragraph down here with some links highlighted in blue there. If I hover over, as you can see, we've got those underneath there. Really easy to do. Obviously, we've got to do a little bit of coding for this today, but as usual, any code I write, I'll put down below the video. You're welcome to copy it, paste it, use it as you wish. We're doing this with the Divi theme today, but it will actually work with any WordPress theme you like. Okay, well, let's get started. I'm gonna enable the Visual Builder. Once enabled, I'm going to go down and undo what I've got going on here. I've got a, just a regular text block here. I'm going to go in there. I'm going to remove the class name that I gave it before. And as you can see, our links are gone. For anybody that doesn't know, to create a link within any text module, if you go back into the text under content with Divi, select whatever word it is you want to make a link out of, or multiple words if you like little chain icon there insert link put the url you want to take your visitors to right there you can actually change the title if you want to i'm going to leave it on the regular text there if you're linking to the own your own site leave it on none if you're linking off site put it in a new window that way your site's going to stay open when you're happy just hit ok and if I move this out of the way, oh, there it is right there. There's that word, and it's highlighted it in blue. Reason it's blue, that's the way it's set up by default in the theme customizer. You can change that to whatever color you want. But we're gonna change the color of that with our code today anyway. Okay. Well, the first thing I wanna do is give this a class name so we can target it. Because if I write some code, put underline a link, it's gonna underline every link on the site including your logo at the top there and any images that you've got linked to which is not going to look too good so let's go over to css ids and classes that way we can just target this paragraph and give that class name to any other paragraphs that we want to do this to i'm going to use a class name and i'm going to call it my h for hover link call yours what you want but it wants to be unique great well, I'm going to leave that there. I'm actually going to use a code module to do this on the page today so we can see what's going on. And I'll show you the various places you can put this code at the end of the video. So I'm going to add a plus to add a new module. There's the code module. Okay, well, I'm going to be using CSS, so I'm going to use some style tags for this today. And you only need style tags if you're using a code module. If you're putting it in the additional CSS or the custom CSS panel, you don't need to use style tags. Okay, well, our class name was my H link. All class names have a dot or a period in front of them when you're writing them as code. When you're applying them, you don't need that dot. Now, I want to affect all the links in there, which are the anchor tags or the A tag. What do I want to do with this? Well, I want to make sure that these are relatively positioned. So I'm going to say position, colon relative. I want to make sure there's no other decorations on those links because sometimes they just have a straight underline when you hover over them. So I'm going to say text decoration, none. And I want to make my colors the same as my logo up there. So I'm just going to say color. I've got a little color picker up here. I'm going to copy that. And it's a hex code. And it's actually changed that color to that blue. Can't really pick that out too well there, so I'm just going to call it blue so you can see it better. There we go, they've gone a different color blue. Obviously make yours whatever color works for you. 
Okay, now we've told it that it's relative position, we've got to use some pseudo elements to actually create this underline effect. So it's going to be dot my link A. Then after the A with no gap, I'm going to put two lots of full colons. And I'm going to put after. And again, we'll open and close some more curly brackets. Now we've got to tell it that we're going to put something in there. So I'm going to say content. I'm just going to open some single inverted commas after that. To let it know we're putting content in there. Now for my link underline, which is what we're building here, I want it to be absolutely positioned. So I'm going to say, so it stays where it is at all time. So I'm going to say position, absolute. And don't forget this code's down below for anybody that wants to copy it and modify it. I want it to be, oh, I don't know, about four pixels below our little link there. So I'm going to say bottom. I'm going to say negative four picks. And again, obviously adjust this to what works for you. I want it to start on the left hand side. So I'm going to say left zero. And you want to spell things right. I spelled it wrong there. If you spell things wrong with CSS or most code, it's not going to work. And the width initially, I don't want it to have any width because I want it to sort of feed in from the left hand side. So I'm going to say width, funny enough, zero. Great. Now when it does come in, I want it to have a height of perhaps two picks. So let's say height, colon, two pixels. And you can give it a color. So I'm going to say background color. And I'll use the same as I did before. Let's use the blue. Obviously, I probably want to make it the same as my logo. So it blends in with the rest of my site. And all we really need to do here is drop down and create a hover effect for our pseudo element here. So I'm going to copy this from the dot all the way to the R of after. And to create a hover effect, right after the A, I'm going to put one more colon with no gap there, and then no gap again, and the word hover. And we can open and close some more curly brackets here. And all I really want to do is change the width from zero to 100%, which is the full width of the link itself. Okay, it's working, but something's not right there. And it's coming in way too quickly as well. Actually looking at that, it is working, but the timing that it's taking to do this is instant. So it's going from 0% to 100% instantly. So you can, can't even see it. So if we slow that down, you'll get a better idea of it. And we're gonna do that in the regular state, not the hover state here. So if we drop down, I'm gonna do some transition. I want it to affect the width. So I'm going to say colon width. And just to make it really crazy, let's make it a second and a half just to show you that that's going to feed in from the left sound side. So I'll say 1.5 seconds, 1.5 S. And I want it to ease in. Now when I hover over one of these, as you can see, it's feeding in from the left hand side there and taking a second and a half. I'm going to take that down a bit. I just wanted to show you for drama. Let's make that maybe three quarters of a second. So 0.75. Perfect. Great. Well, that's working perfectly. Now, if you just want it on the one page, you can leave it in a little code module like that. If you want to use this on several paragraphs over different pages, you can do that really easy and I'll show you how. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this code without the style tags. I'm going to leave the style tags there. Control C to copy. I'm going to save and delete our code module. The reason I'm deleting it, you don't want two instances of the code on the site. So there's our little code module. Let's delete that. That's going back to normal now. If we go to our theme customizer, anybody that doesn't know how to get there, Go down to your dashboard. 
Once at the dashboard, go down to Appearance and Customize. That's going to take you to this page right here. Well, actually, it will take you to this page right here. At the bottom, you'll find the additional CSS. There's my previous code. I'm going to delete that. Always a good idea to put a title in when you write code. It makes it a lot easier to find, and it's a courtesy if somebody has to edit your site after you. After the title, I'm going to paste in the code that we had there. I'm going to publish. Now if we go back to this page, let's exit the Visual Builder, make sure everything's saved. At the moment nothing's happening, but once we save, it'll refresh and pick up that code again. If we exit the Visual Builder, as you can see already that color's changed. When we hover over, a little line's going to appear there. That's a nice little effect. And if you want to add it perhaps to any other module, you can simply go into that module on any page. Now we've got it in the additional CSS panel and give it that code, that class name, just to demonstrate that. We'll go into our little blurb module here, or call to action module actually. Let's go over to the advance. It's already got a class in there that's making it scale up and down like that. You can add a new class afterwards by just giving it a gap. It's fine to have multiple multiple classes. And it was called my H link, wasn't it? We'll make sure that's right. If it's not right, it's not going to work. And let's actually add a link somewhere on this. Let's grab this text perhaps. We'll make it into a link. As you can see, that's made that into a link and our little underline is working there. Really easy to do. So let's ch save our changes here, make sure everything's going to work on the front end. Save draft or publish and exit the visual builder. Roll on down to where we were working. There's our original links there. And we've got one in our other one with two class names there. One to make it scale and have those borders, and one for our little links inside. So there you go, guys. I hope that's answered that question for you. And like I say, this code's down below. If you want to add this same hover effect to your links down here, that's the way to do it. And as I said earlier, you can do that on any page that has links on it by adding that class name. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget if you've got any questions, pop them down below the video. I'll do my best to answer them or make a demo video for you. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.